Good afternoon, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. Why should you stay here at Disney's Pop Century Resort? Today, I'm gonna show you a full resort tour and show you everything you need to know. But I do wanna say, this is the most popular value resort here at Walt Disney World. Now, you do have other values such as art of animation and the all-star resorts, but let me show you why you should book here at Disney's Pop Century. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. The first thing you will see is of course the parking lot. And as you walk across the street, the next thing you will see is the bus transportation station. The buses will come pick you up and take you to and from all four Walt Disney World theme parks, the water parks, and Disney Springs. And you have the gift shop right here and a side entrance. At the front of the resort, this is where you will be dropped off from the Magical Express from the airport. And this is where you will also come to get on the Magical Express to get back to the airport. For some reason right now, Disney is using the Disney Cruise Line buses for the Magical Express, but this is also where you will come if you need to get on the bus to your Disney Cruise. And before you walk into the main lobby, you do have luggage assistance. And if you do grocery delivery while you're here on vacation, this is where your groceries will be dropped off. Here we are inside of the main lobby, and this is where you will come to check in. This resort is themed around the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. And here in the main lobby, you can find some vintage items from those times. On the other side of check-in, you will find a Disney Vacation Club kiosk. And then if you continue walking, you can find the business center with a Chase ATM. You have a fuel rod station, internet, computers, and a printer. If you need to send mail while you're here, this is where you will come drop it off. Also, right outside of the business center, this is where that side entrance is for the Disney transportation. Next up here in the main lobby, you have everything pop, and this is where you can find the gift shop and dining. Disney is currently testing a new feature called mobile checkout, where you can simply check out on your phone. That way you don't have to wait in line for a cast member. If you need to pick up your package from the parks, this is where you will come inside of the gift shop. If by chance you forget anything while you're here, come inside of the gift shop, check out this resort exclusive merchandise. You have a Tarvis here, a Christmas ornament, a keychain, a Disney pin, and a t-shirt. For the adults, just in case you need a adult beverage on vacation, you can come in the gift shop located behind the cash register here, and they have bottles you can buy. Here's a look at the uh, prices. Not too bad. You have your resort refillable mugs for 20 bucks, which I highly recommend you do when you're here. And then you can find penny press machines. And also, if you wanna read the paper, they got you covered. As life is a little bit different right now, Disney is doing their food offerings a little different here at the resorts. They are really encouraging you to use mobile order. You pick a time, pay, then come pick it up. And that's what you see here. It's pretty neat, in my opinion, if you haven't used the mobile order feature yet. In order to pick up your beverage, you will pay for it. You will bring your receipt to the cast member. And from there, the cast member will get you your beverage. And same thing with the resort refillable mugs. It's the same process. They're playing some Disney cartoons here in the seating area. And here's a quick look inside. Nice. Now walking out of the main lobby. And from there, you will see the pool and also the poolside bar. Here's a look at the main pool. It's a good sized pool. The pool hours. 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. You don't need to worry about bringing towels from your room down here to the pool because they give you towels here and then as you leave, you will return them right here. And they also have life vests for the little ones. A quick look at the poolside bar and then to the left, you have your laundry facility. I'm heading to the 50s and 60s first. Here's a look at a overview of this resort. It's a pretty big resort. Looks like if you stay in the 90s or 80s, you're close to a parking lot. 70s, not really. 60s, 
you're far away, but the 50s, you are pretty close. Welcome to the 50s. Look at the rooms here. They look very ideal to the all-star resorts. The theming is great. I am now at the 50s pool. I like these bowling balls here. It is a smaller pool, but a lot more quiet than the main pool. And then right back this way, you have another laundry facility. Welcome to the 60s. This is basically surrounded by the pool. This is just on the other side of the pool. And then you have the pool, well, the main pool right there. So in my opinion, it may be a little bit more loud in the 60s. But you are very close to the front, the dining area, the shopping, check-in, the buses. So keep that in mind. When you're here on vacation, make sure you always check the daily activities because they change every day. Tonight, they're having movie under the stars. You have a really cool photo opportunity on the other side of the 60s. Welcome to the 70s. And again, just great theming. Look at this, 1973 Lone Horse Studios. But before we head this way, I wanna take you guys behind this because there's like a little secret playground that not a lot of people know about. Here's the playground. I like how it says, this play area is for the enjoyment of children ages five through 12. And here's a look. Capacity currently is 10 guests, but that could always change as the year goes on. Welcome to the 80s. Look at this giant Rubik's cube. Look how close you are to the bus station. Right there. Keep that in mind. Look at the Pac-Man on the balcony walls right there. <laughs> That's awesome. Welcome to the 90s. And again, if we look this way, look how close you are to the Disney transportation. Look at this giant computer themed around Disney here in the 90s. That is awesome. Look at all of the details, even the keyboard. Oh, hidden Mickey. Now that's cool. Here's a look at the computer pool. Pretty quiet over here. I call it the computer pool because that giant computer is right there behind me. And when you're here at the computer pool in the 90s, you have a laundry facility. This one was open, so I walked in really quick. You have your washers, your dryers. If you need soap, they have you covered. And make sure you always bring at least a credit card, debit card, or a gift card because if you want to do laundry, they do not accept cash to use the machines. They also have a vending machine in here also. Check out Roger Rabbit, one of my favorites here in the 90s. Do you guys remember these things? Oh man, that is a vintage item nowadays. Another reason why it is called the computer pool, well, look at this. We have the keyboard. And then if we look up, we have the computer. I know it may be confusing because clearly that's a laptop with its own keyboard, but I don't know. Disney put another keyboard right here just for theming. Hello there, Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. If we look here across the water of Hourglass Lake, we can see Disney's art of animation. I'm coming back over to the 70s and look at this. They have a twister game board in the ground. That's really cool. They have a lot of like games. I like that. Not every Disney hotel has this. I like this giant Mickey telephone here. That is a huge phone. Excuse me, am I walking through your game? Look at this giant big wheel. Dang, the theming is awesome. Look at Blue and Mowgli. Well, I think that's his name. Let me know down in the comments if I got it right. Blue is my hero. I'm back in the 60s by the main pool here. And right on the other side of that pool in the center, you have a splash pad 
for the little ones. Check out this giant can of Play-Doh. If you're into running while you're here on vacation, they have a really nice running trail through Pop Century around by Art of Animation and all the way back. The biggest benefit of staying here at Disney's Pop Century, if you continue walking straight from the main lobby in the pool area, you will come upon the Disney Skyliner. And this can take you over to Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and you also have more dining options at both Disney's Riviera and Disney's Caribbean Beach. Let's go have a ride on the Disney Skyliner. This is where you will get off the Skyliner from Art of Animation or Pop Century. If you want to head over to Disney's Hollywood Studios, you will hop on these right in the middle. And if you want to head over to Epcot, you're going to go to these. There's Pop Century to your left and Art of Animation to your right. If you keep walking past the Skyliner, that will take you to Disney's Art of Animation. A few things that I missed. First, you can find an arcade in the main lobby, but right now it's currently closed due to COVID. Next, I always ask a cast member at check-in if I could have a room tour. Sometimes they allow it and sometimes they don't, and today they did not again due to COVID. But I highly encourage you to go to Disney's website and check out some of the room photos. Also, a good amount of the rooms here at Disney's Pop Century have been renovated. I know I touched on this earlier in the video, but this resort is overall themed around the 20th century of American pop culture. And lastly, Disney's Pop Century Resort opened on December 14th, 2003. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day here from Disney's Pop Century Resort. This resort is very simple. It has everything you need. It's in a great location and it has the same perks and benefits as every Disney World hotel and the value is great. It looks like a storm is heading in this direction. So let me know if you guys are planning on staying here at Disney's Pop Century or have you ever stayed here? What did you think? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always that way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming. Out. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from MickeyTravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description. Click on the link for your next Disney vacation. I am feeling lonely in a morning and it's time to end the ride. Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me